Good morning. I must be pretty lucky because I get to do the children's message again this morning, and I am so happy to be here with you. So this week on Wednesday, we celebrated Ash Wednesday as a church and began the countdown until Easter. That makes this Sunday the first Sunday of Lent. Now, you've probably heard of Lent, but do you know what it is? Let's talk about it for a little bit. It is the 40 days before Easter, not including Sundays. It's a time where we start to pray and think about Easter and the miraculous death and resurrection of Jesus. Many people choose to give up something during Lent, like eating a favorite food or watching TV or something like that. Or some people choose to spend more time doing something important, like serving other people or reading their Bible. Doing these things is meant to give us more time, energy, and reason to think about how much God loves us and all that he has done for us. Now, in a few weeks, your family's going to get something in the mail from us to celebrate Easter, some activities. These will help you remember all that Jesus did for you on the cross. But I have something you can do in the meantime as we celebrate Lent, and that is to eat pretzels. What? Pretzels? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, have you ever heard the legend of the pretzel? I hadn't heard it. This is a new one to me, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to share it with you. So people believe that in the year 600 or earlier, an Italian monk was trying to think of a way to remind children to say their prayers. During Lent, the monks often cooked and baked with fewer ingredients, so it was more of a simple time. And one day, the monk was making a very simple bread, and he had some leftover dough. So he rolled it out, and he folded it into the pretzel shape, like we know. Back then, people often prayed with their hands crossed over their chests like this. So the shape he made was to look like a praying person, and the three holes were to remind us of the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He named it pretiola, which means little reward in Latin, and the pretzel became a traditional part of Lent. So the monks would hand these out to the children as they were studying their prayers and scriptures as a little snack during Lent time. In the email I sent to your parents this week with your Sunday school lesson, I included a recipe for soft pretzels. They're some of my favorite. Make some with your family this week to celebrate the beginning of Lent. And as you do, say a prayer to thank God so much for loving us and sending his son Jesus to us to die on the cross to forgive us and rise again so that we can know him and be with him forever. So go eat some pretzels. Go make some pretzels. Send us a picture if you do. Have a great morning. Bye.